Hello, welcome back to Shadowrun Hong Kong. I'm Nathan. I'm still Thomas. And uh, we're still in the offices of Wuxing Incorporated, or Wuxing, or I, I don't actually know how you pronounce their name, it's fictional. This temple, it looks like a fight scene to me. Like, look at the cover, look at the ley lines. Yeah, uh... So have we still not figured out how to use those ley lines to our advantage? We really should look that up or something. I, but, well, I, I think it's simple, isn't it? You stand on them, and if you're some kind of spellcaster, this is good. The details, I don't know, but um, yeah, yeah, I know you're that, meant to stand the, on them. the very, the very definitions of good is is sort of what I'm concerned about. But, that is um, true. Yeah, there's a question mark button here. If I click on it, let's have a look at some spellcasting essence. There it is, dragon lines. Dragon lines. Uh, lower right hand corner. Yeah, but all it doesn't give us anything past. interesting. No, it shows a picture of a wizard standing in the middle of a circle, which is, yeah, uh, what I thought, even though it's not actually very detailed. I, I guess power and accuracy of spells just means number go up, uh, more damage. Yeah, you want that. You want power damage. and you want accuracy. But what we really want is to, by means fair or foul, uh, primarily foul, destroy a, a Buddhist statue. Whoa, hello. I think our uh, sound settings got reset. Let's turn down the music a bit. So they did. Again. This always happens for some reason when loading the save games. Uh, I can fix that. That's probably good now. So a bunch of spirits, once again, want to stop us from being here. Yes. No actual corporate this... security guards. Maybe they're so good at geomancy they don't need them. That and if we actually started fucking up guards, it would be harder for us to go back to the whole... Um... Yeah. wandering around uh messing with the pots and pans a bit now stop me if i'm um, misunderstanding but it seems like standing behind this railing thing doesn't actually provide any cover at all right because well, I, when i mouse over you're not here. you're sort of like on the side of it right oh like that's, that's the railings above a wall i say yes yeah right, right being back there would give you cover he would give you cover. Okay, so I'm actually going to just have people... Well, this is Danny. This yeah. is Danny's got to run up and hit people, right? Well, he can throw spills at people and then hit them if they come close. Although, we probably want someone in their faces. Um, but I'm not going to kind of needlessly take damage, so the enemies will be moving closer to us. So I was thinking, first round, I'll start by having people basically duck back and fire off a shot and try to not take any damage in the first round. See if it's... Uh, Possibly. ...feasible. Uh, I, th I think it's worth trying. I mean, this could be wrong, but we haven't used this tactic before, so I just kind of want to see if it's a thing that works out in the game. Like, a long-range mana bolt like this, is this even useful? Well, 88% chance to hit. It's not bad. It's, it's not as good as punching someone twice, but it's also not actually bad. Uh, hmm. My, my concern is that we are now stacked up at this entrance. We, like, we have seeded the cover possibilities. That's true, but we have AoE spells. Uh, well, AoE grenades and bullets. In fact, we don't have any AO AoE spells, unless Gobbit has some that I haven't noticed. Casting uh, the gun spell. Yeah, that said, I un accidentally seem to have moved Isabel twice instead of actually shooting a grenade, so that wasn't all that useful. Hey, look, um, Duncan's actually got an 81% chance, a 94% chance to hit from all the way back here. Actually, Maybe he's. I mean, it, we still want to like step forward and cover, probably. Yeah, but might as well shoot first. And then now we know where we can move to. Um, might as well. Sit. I see. So this wall is a low wall, and so you can shoot over it. And if you're right up behind it, you can crouch behind it. This is actually a good piece of cover. I think I'm quite okay with being being back here. I think it's actually so good to shoot bullets over that I'm going to haste Duncan. And... Ah, I always forget that uses 2 AP. But here's something I hadn't merely forgotten. I didn't know it. It actually grants mm -hmm. the bonus action point to the character you cast it on immediately. Yep. So the, the action economy on that would be really bad if it didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, you're paying two uh, dead AP up front in one turn for, I think... So three like a, turns of extra yeah, it AP. wouldn't be as great as, as it is it's actually very good so that uh, if i'd known that i wouldn't have moved duncan yet i will might as well I, I can take a shot with aimed shot and still have a decent chance to hit that way but 
Yeah, missed. Seventy-five percent is the XCOM twenty-five percent. Yeah, you got a seventy-five percent chance to hit in one of these games. There's maybe a fifty-fifty at best that you will do it. Okay, now they're getting close enough that it seems good like a good idea to punch them. Um, so how do we do magic punches? Manifest is ten damage as opposed to just the uh, spiked fist. See what eight damage. See what the two hitter is on the other guy. I want to know if we have a bad. Yeah, okay. This the guy on the right is just very tough and mm-hmm. hard to hit. Um, he is. Yeah. Um, maybe I should go for someone who we're very likely to hit. Although or who doesn't too roll away, to they? hit against him. Isabella uh, Isirobel uh, does explosive damage. She rolls to hit against to hit the roll. world. Yeah, which is um, like a metaphor for basically, uh, you know, being a misanthrope. Ninety-four eh, percent is much more attractive than like sixty percent, isn't it? Yep, that's right. my analysis. Yep. With manifest, I can't do it at all because then we can't charge. All right, well, a basic punch it is. This guy's already taken some damage, so it's worth going for it. I think. Yep, that was worth it. As it turns out, uh, is zero bell. On the other hand, yeah, can take advantage of. I still can't. Bl- is shooting over this wall actually not granting me any kind of penalty whatsoever? Is that how I don't it works? I think so. Yeah. It's I mean, such a cover with- of war game design. I mean, cover isn't ever supposed to like actively harm you if you're, you know, a ranged character like yeah. this. Turns out if you put two grenades directly on someone and actually hit with both of them, they just die. Yeah. Okay. Um, how far can we go? We can get up to there and remain in cover. Let's do it. Although, maybe that was a bad idea. Ah, okay, well, I was going to say it was a bad idea because it reduced my chance to hit from 99% to 79% for reasons I do not fully understand. I think it's um, he's now getting co- you're, he's now ah, getting a cover bonus. You were flanking him before. That's right, because this guy is also in this side cover. Yeah, the cover system is still. I, f- I find it fun as a game mechanic, but it's not intuitive to me because it doesn't map all that well to the visual appearance of things on the screen. I guess I've been playing too many action games. Hmm. Let's go. St- how many moves? Something I don't understand here is why am I not... Oh, okay. No, sorry. I do understand it. I was going to ask why I didn't see uh, how m- many uh, Gobbit's multi-move range. And the reason is I hadn't moved my cursor out of that initial zone. So, let's stand in the big thing. Heard a little sound there, which probably means you are now on a dragon line. Oh, there's different bonuses corresponding to their size. All right. Yeah, this one's so. medium. These ones are small. There must be a large one in the world somewhere. And hmm, it said big on a dragon line when your spells aren't offensive may or may not be useful. Uh, um, heal wound won't work because no one's taking damage in this fight, right? Uh, check a uh, mouse over Danny Flash. I'm mousing. Um, yeah, sorry, over his him in the world. Yeah, there it is. Wounded four. So he does have a wound on him, and healing him will heal him for four health. Oh, did he take that wound in this fight from something which I forgot? Because I thought we'd thought that wounds didn't carry over between fights. Yeah, I think he got hit while he was in cover. It was a um, like a 05 percent cover. He was it was when he was crouched down right near that pole. Ow. Yeah, super uh, ow. Let's get some revenge for that immediately. And. Uh... His zero bill is not in a position to shoot again. I think the first thing I'll do here is use Duncan of the many bullets to try and finish this thing all off. Well, okay, there it goes. Yeah, because I, I forgot. I had, had to point. remember that. Yeah. Okay, so we're actually fine so far. These were just kind of we- random defensive spirits, um, possibly due to the key disruptions we've created. They may not even be. These spirits might not be employed by the corporation. They are. Uh, if you notice, we went from 50% to 53%. Oh? Okay. Uh, key disruption for winning that fight. Right, so... so I believe they were... Monstrous spirits a good feng shui. Whoop! Oh, hello. And some more stuff. Alright, so the guy on the right is armor buffed. So either We have a armor-piercing fist, I Oh, believe. look, it's a heavy dragon line. On the other hand, because we've tipped over... Key disruption 
from 50 to 53 percent these guys are now have minus two willpower they used to have minus one the uh the downside of this is i also have minus two willpower everyone does <laughs> this is just a a bad place now hmm has isabel got her grenades back she has uh in that case let's get towards them uh Anywhere I move is going to be exposed, isn't it? Yes. This is a... You're sort of weirdly Hello. caught out of cover. Now there is a... Yeah. Okay. There is a... There was a... Um, there's a small little nook. Um, here, let me take control for a second. Yeah, sure. There's a small little nook right here. Yeah. But that that has be. decent cover, but it doesn't go... It goes the wrong way. Yep. Um, so you can... Well, take control back if you like. I will click on a portrait. <laughs> We've learned our lesson yes. there. <laughs> uh, so I c could once again use I the charge to get up and hit these guys. So far, the punching, I'm not seeing um, many opportunities to do multiple punches, but I've been seeing a lot of opportunities to run up and punch people. Well, is... it's good that we're not getting a reason for multiple punches because it means we're killing the guys as soon as we like get up to them. Yeah, uh, not all bad, for sure. Uh, what I really wish I could see is how much whether i'd be able to hit someone after moving to somewhere yeah i really wish it changed the percentage on the two hit with your cursor mm. um like i don't know if i spend an action point to move here is it going to be worthwhile in terms of increasing my chance to hit i think it will okay. because that character is not in cover uh and also your wait yes wait um see it yeah okay that was uh, all right see he is flanked like you know that yeah. he has, he has a guy in melee with him which it means does. that he is now not giving like any bonuses any defensive cover yeah. bonuses or anything on the other hand if i use aimed shot that already up, takes us up to 93 percent yep let's just do that and not spend the extra ap yeah it worked uh okay duncan can now move somewhere or, or for that matter just take another shot i'm really starting to see the virtues of just attacking as many times as possible yeah I mean, Duncan is a bit of a special case. You can see he is a much better shot from this distance than Yeah, Goblet, Goblet has 33% chance to hit this thing, so she's going to want to get closer or do something. And... Or just haste, um, what's his face, Danny? Yeah, that's a good idea. He's right up there already, so if he gets another turn at all, he should be able to... In fact, sorry, he can do it immediately. Oh, wow, yep. you can charge twice if you've been hasted. That's so cool. <laughs> the spirit is so owned it didn't even choose to attack. Uh, I don't know why not, but given the old manifest, that was a fairly successful pair of fights, I think. Yep. And now it's time to vandalize. Yeah, let's do some more small vandalism before we go for this big lotus statue thing. There's a whole bunch of terrible stuff to break here, and. Uh, we have been warned about this, of course, that uh, making everything as super broken could be dangerous. But as long as it's also dangerous for the corporation. Incidentally, the executives of this place, they don't do a lot of work at night. We have not seen anyone until we got up onto the, since we got up onto this floor. Hmm. We're ready to desecrate the statue, do you think? I didn't spot um. anything else to do. Let's see here. Hmm, there's a little glowing thing back here, but I think it's just another dragon line. Yeah, not a key point. There's, supposedly there's... Go check this the, the bamboo area a little bit again. I will. I did not investigate this in an enormous amount of detail. Oh, hello. I had to walk right past that in order to set fire to the bushes. Yeah, these right. are some really unsettled disruptions. And now I believe we can uh, fuck up that, that Lotus statue for yeah, our There's fun. no way to get to 100% disruption without doing it. Yeah. Well, that would make sense. Okay. Oddly, um, breaking this water pipe was like more disruptive than any other activity in the world. Uh, actually, that's it. It looks pretty disruptive. Okay, I don't know what's going to happen when I do this, but somebody we don't somewhere... Need... Do we need to heal at all? Is everybody everybody at full? I assume mm, there's you, a boss You share my qualms, this. right? I think somebody's yeah, not like going to like this. Yeah, this seems like a, a load-bearing um, 
Buddha statue. Decorative statue, yeah. Yeah. Not that I can see an actual statue, it just, it's just a f yeah, flower. Um, or maybe they called it a Buddhist statue, in which case that would make a little more sense. So it's Danny, been ten... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's taken a little bit of damage. A medkit would be able to heal that, but they are consumable, aren't they? You don't get them back. Let's see... Unless we've got some kind of healing. Well, magic, I think I didn't so. Look, uh, click over to. Um, why am I blanking on his name? Gun Show. Yeah. Um, Duncan. See how those items are locked? Yes. I believe we get oh. them refreshed every mission. At yeah, every mission. Yes. Good point. All right. Let's do this. Confirm. Hooray! Full health. Okay. Good time to desecrate now. Might as well give ourselves advantages. I mean, if I really wanted to give ourselves advantages, I would be uh, spending karma more often. Uh, okay, that's desecrated. I don't know how you desecrate something by sort of pointing your palm at it. Perhaps it involved magic. Like, seriously, what is desecrated about this? I guess we... Um, yeah, I guess we scorched it. Yeah, it's it's a, a great dark deal, like... now. Yeah. The statue has become fill. Alright, um, we can see that the Karma Vortex thing is really swirling. In theory, we now just leave the building and... Aha! Someone is upset, as promised. A whole bunch of people, and they're wizards. Okay. <laughs> He's, for some reason doing corporate deniability at me, but it is just a death threat. Good mask, though, on that guy. Right, so here's a whole mind team. If I, mind if I take control for some of this? Yeah, go ahead. If you've got right, a... Because these idiots have put themselves in bad positions. That looks well. like... <laughs> everyone is so disrupted, which is probably really bad for all the enemy mages, also for Danny, but uh, it's fine for the rest of us, really. That fog thing Ace. might be a good idea. Are you sure you want to use that instead of the AoE fog? Well, I mean, there is nothing more valuable in this game than extra actions. Yeah. Uh, but, but yeah, no, let's let's show it off. Multiple um, target attacks might also be pretty valuable. Let's see, can, can uh, I... Uh, I see it's not, not a very great. large area. I was hoping for that's not something great. Enormous. That's not great, yeah. Um, All right. Goblin, not a great director attacker at this point. Fair enough. Actually, before we go running in there with um, Punch Man, let's shoot the grenades in yes, first. Yes, as the grenades will explode, regardless of who else is there. Um, let's go here. I wonder when it's right to use mines. Do that. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, kind um, of in the well, right direction. Technically, all right. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, you know what? I want a second bite at that apple. So <laughs> haste is actually going to go on. Yeah, the fact that it lets you the zero yeah, that may, uh, I already thought it was an okay spell, but now I realize it's actively good, more than merely okay. <laughs> you went even you further away. You're kidding me. All right. <laughs> And yet, he has still exploded. Um, what do I want to do with... Duncan, Duncan, what's your deal? He's got this burst uh, fire thing, which might be appropriate for these guys. There was some kind of cone, I think? Yeah. Now, we, I, it's more important for him to be in cover, but that mm -hmm. he can do that next turn. Yeah, if they're all mages, I can see why cover is a big deal. Having one person out there taking damage because he's a puncher, okay, but multiple people would not be great. We are rolling extremely badly. Ah, um, we rolled pretty well up until now. On these damage rolls. Let's see here. <laughs> kind of want to, instead of charging him, run next to him so I'm in cover against everyone else. Mm-hmm. And then, then I'll use, just... Then uh, Manifest. Yeah. Which would have obviated the charge anyway, so it's not that much of a loss. <laughs> this guy All also right, doesn't so want to be please. standing next to us. Oh, armor broken. Ouch! Hey. Ooh. Oh, oh no, that's alright. They did that already, in fact. 
that Danny was the one I I wanted them to attack. Yeah. But I was well, too doing. smart and put him in cup. What? Oh, did he get charmed? <laughs> I'm gonna have to here? apologize to Duncan for that later. All right. Oh. Um, Gobbit, please. Um, find cover. Go. Do you have any cover that like faces? I guess just here. She can move back further away. Um. Well, she's going to get in cover and then heal herself. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Uh, Wouldn't want to get a, a yet another member of the old team killed on this first run. Hmm... What are the spells that we haven't used yet? The punch spells. Are there, are there any of them applicable to the situation? Oh, it's just no, passive. these two are passives. Right, yes. Um, the magic resistance is helping us already, but we don't need to do anything for it to help. Let's just run up and hit him. Yep, he's hit. And might as well... Uh, I was going to say you might as well make the second attack a manifest. But... Yeah. What I'm, I'm really worried about is that we are not getting anywhere near the damage we want out of these fists um all right let's try not to hit danny well bear in mind danny's doing considerably less God damage damn it. than he usually <laughs> would because of the minus three willpower yeah because willpower is the damage stat for key punches <laughs> is zero bell this what is are ace. you doing <laughs> how about well, using a med kit on danny yeah um, what's the use button? There yeah. we go. Because as we learned uh, in a non-canonical interlude, if he dies, it's game over. An aimed shot. The guy is in the open. Was in the open. <laughs> They've got moderately powerful AoE. Thankfully, only moderately. Hmm, we really need to focus fire here. These guys are pretty nasty. Each of them can do reasonable amounts of damage. Yeah, I would go for that one in as well. Ooh, that is not a good two hit on the manifest. Willpower penalty. Alright, I think he's good, just dead from bleeding. Um... I do not think that we can allow Isabel to... To fire um, another grenade. <laughs> she does have a pistol. And also remote mines. Uh, hmm. what is I think she has to actually things? run up to use the... Uh, ah, well, mines. that we don't want. You think these guys are clumped enough for the poison fog now? Um, Let's see. They are, but we just have these terrible, terrible two hits. Yeah, I don't know if it it would have a, would would it be it creates a fog which will keep attacking them if they enter it again, right? Yep. I don't know whether it keeps attacking if they stay in it, but forcing them to move would be good. All right, well let's try it. Oh, I, I just get nothing if it misses. What, really? All right. Oh, okay. Well, now we know. Um. Oh, okay. Thanks, yeah. Isabel. Um, <laughs> She's much more accurate with the pistol than the grenade launcher. This makes sense. And Duncan. Um. Let's see what your full auto fire does to this person hits two out of three times is what as For reported basically by no damage ouch okay so we uh, are immediately allowed to pick a trauma kit in order to not get a game over but this is uh this is getting real here we basically need to do something to to not die not sure what that thing would be um, Danny, um, switch to this first off. Right, because the punching is not working well on these guys. So I still got one turn before I can use that. Use haste on 
Hang on, can Duncan. I suggest uh, Isirabel, you might want to go for a, a big play and reload and fire the grenade launcher and then see if any if it hits any of them. Um, attack whoever didn't get hit. Alright, I know who it's going to hit, but we'll do it. Um, <laughs> oh, god damn it, I still had haste selected, so it hasted it. Alright, well. Ah. We'll get two bites of this apple. That might be too, too many. Okay. Actually, actually, we'll just get... no. Maybe fire at the furthest, furthest away wizard. <laughs> there we go. Perfect shot. Well done, is zero, Bill. Let's try that again. That one was okay. Didn't actually do a lot of damage. No. Um... But yeah, that was I mean, yeah, good aggregate damage output. It just didn't help us win the fight, per se. Yeah, it's interesting. It's still not doing a lot of damage. I guess these guys um, are just bad to punch when your willpower is debuffed. That's my theory. But they could right, just he's shoot. dead. And he's not the Come only on, one. man. <laughs> <laughs> well, we did have two trauma kits. I think you recommended that I buy one, so that was relevant. Yeah. Well, how about casting Mana Bolt on one of them if punching isn't working? Ooh, that is not a good two hit. What if you move on to one of the, onto the medium dragon line first? What if? Because like, he's literally uh, standing right next to a dragon line. Well, first, what, I'm going to spend one of my mana points, one of my action points on healing. Um, and then... I will get into cover. Wait, 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 wait. If you're getting into cover, you right. might as well also stand on a dragon line. Right, right. He's got a dragon line right there. Yeah, but it's um, a small one. There's a medium one, two squares away. It's just better. Can you flank me? Yeah, right, we'll see. All right. Let's reload this. Yeah. Look, uh, it's better than not shooting <laughs> grenades. Let's, let's see what happens here. <laughs> Something completely... <laughs> <laughs> How did she... Duncan just turns around to... as if uh, wondering what has occurred. Alright, that at least was better than doing literally nothing at all. Um, the second one, that is. Um... Duncan's a fairly reliable source of some damage. Gobbit is not. Just aim to no, just give we need to figure, to kind of figure out what's going on with... Um... You know what I should do? Should buff her aim. Oh yeah, that is probably a good idea. If the aim percentage is contributing to how inaccurate the grenades are, which it, it might be, I'm wounded not sure. Three, wounded nine, heal. Yeah. Danny here. God, but it's still useful to have around. Hey, my armor. Ouch. This is just brutal, brutal damage <laughs> for them. It is, but we might be able to finish off that guy. So this is where I would try the actual spell casting. Mana bolt. Still fifty six. Yeah. Or we gotta run up to a minute. Surprisingly low. Um That's much higher. Three. Goodbye. Alright, Azerabel. Well how about taking two yeah, alright. I was going to say two pistol shots might have been better since there's only one enemy left and the uh, preventing her from attacking again is probably the priority. Well, first let's see what Duncan can do here. Nothing much. Um, let's see what the pistol's got. Aim shot with the pistol. Eh, that is still not very good. But it doesn't have the chance um, of just you know, of, killing Duncan. Yeah, killing us. <laughs> All right, sure, we'll just hit the 65. Easy game. And Gobbit and just Gobbit um, save the day. She won't do enough damage. She didn't do enough damage. That's the cover for you. <laughs> One. <laughs> oh, but this enemy wizard has oh has actually done something quite effective. In fact, is are we now in the grace period where at the end of this round we would die? Or is it yes. at the end of three rounds? Nice. This is probably the penalty for doing all the uh, the hundred percent key fucking up. Is uh, some big wizards come to kill you? So 
Still worth it. All right, we actually have to hurt her and kill her. So, yes. grenade, please go any... Oh, my God, anywhere near her. It went... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this is... I do enjoy the randomness of those grenades. Spray. Uh, yeah, put aim, an aim shot. Jesus Christ. <laughs> She's got a reload as well. <laughs> At least Gob had healed herself earlier, or she would have gone down there too. Yep. Well, you know what? Corporate security wizards are <laughs> much more dangerous than corporate security spirits. Um, I see the objective is complete, but we are still in combat. Let's, let's leave Wuxing's Strike Tower. That seems reasonable to do. What's going on here? Not enough AP. She says two AP. No, no, don't don't reload. Don't reload. Uh, uh, the reason I'm saying don't reload is because we need to use AP to move to the exit and use it before the fight ends in two rounds with us looting the game. All right. Then um, again, it's better. Uh, yeah. Ah, God, it's not that much further away than Isabel was, but yeah, I, I would run for the exit. I think that's. I'm going, going to instead. Why? Trauma kit him. Isn't that a trauma kit? Yes, it is. Oh. Okay. Um, oh, okay. Well, I guess now we don't have that deadline. All right, now we can just more leisurely stroll towards the exit. Okay, thank God. There, it just was being stupid about ending the combat. I think that may have been <sighs> because of the uh, the need to use a trauma kit. Possibly that's, so. That's why I was saying that if we managed to maybe use the exit mark, that might have bypassed it, or that might have ended the combat at that point and instantly killed us. I don't know. I thought it was worth it. All right. Um, <laughs> well, any landing you can click the exit marker away from. The feeling is noticeable to those not even magically attuned. Hmm. Is something else going to go wrong? Probably. Our whole job here was to make this tower a bad place where things go wrong, right? Yeah, I, I, I believe we, we just acquitted ourselves very well on that front. Well, I'll take um, control then to click the dot 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 button here. The trapped and key swirls in the iconic atrium. The job is done. You have desecrated the lotus, blemished the prideful face of a megacorp. Well, they blemished the hell out of our faces in return. Like, wow. Really got covered a lot of uh, wizard essence there. And Duncan is happy because if we're going to be criminals, at least we're very violent criminals. That's true. I mean, he got to kill people. He is a cop. That's, uh... Yeah, I guess he's, he's reconciling himself to the whole thing quite quickly when he realizes just how similar it could be. We're out, I think. All right, it's sending us back to Hayoi. Let's see if we get any kind of mission wrap-up here, if we're just, or if we're just kind of pitched back into time to shop and upgrade and stuff. We will now hopefully have some money. Um... In fact, we could go to the mission computer, couldn't we, and turn in that data that we the, stole. The, yeah, the cred sticks. And, well, the cred uh, sticks are just, uh, are just creds. Just, yeah, money. Don't need to sell them. Although you can sell people money. It's called finance. Game auto-saved. But is it going to load anything? Yeah, here we go. Cool. Claim payment for your runs at the mission computer. All right, let's do that, and then uh, buy people some things or do some leveling up. Yes. Might see if there's any more chatting to do as well. Um, I don't think we'll have enough time to head out on another mission in this episode, but we might pr do a bit of preparing for the next one. Yeah. We're now um, basically embarked on our new lives of crime, our lives of uh, doing what kindly wants in exchange for her continuing to protect us. 200 messages. Mail. Raymond Black's history. I feel like it is something I should click on. Yeah. Ah. Okay, so Izirabel is actually looking into it as well. She says that she basically hints that Raymond used to be sinless. 
and uh, became a polite society citizen in the future. It's like Riemann didn't exist before then. Why oh, is this is considered like... so crazy to a shadow runner? Yeah. <laughs> the idea that someone might have, you know, assumed a false identity. We have all done that ourselves. Then again, maybe in the cyber future, it is actually so incredibly difficult to lose an existing identity that it is actually strange to do. Mm -hmm. And kindly wants us to visit the parlor, which we will do eventually. Seems like a... Uh, Repulse Bay. Did we already get a mail about that? Was that one of the existing jobs? Yes, that is one of the existing jobs, I believe. All right, well, we'll... No, no, oh, the Repulse Bay... Hard. Hmm. I think that's a new that's a new gig. Hmm. Yeah, I thought it might have been the archaeology thing, but maybe not. Okay, well that'll be something to do at some point. I think that's like story progression. Like we do, we have we can do these three jobs, any number of them that we wish, and then when we're ready to continue, we could talk to that guy at the parlor. Could be. I I, I would be surprised if it just kind of completely progressed the story and locked us out of everything else. But I will certainly put it off for now. Um. Jobs directory, clean payment. Kindly Cheng says that Wuxing's stock has dropped by 2%. I gotta say, this doesn't read as, um, as, as quite a dramatic a thing in 2022. <laughs> there have been other stock market drops and indeed rises of significantly larger magnitude for stupider reasons. I guess part of the fantasy in this is that these companies are actually stable, as opposed yeah. to... <laughs> the dystopian maker corporations are, are like a functioning society. It's escapism. Yep. Walk away. Um, yeah. I noticed that inside the, uh, the lifeboat here, we are just Danny. So presumably the others around to talk to. I remember we were able to ask people questions like, what do you think of that last run? Let's see what Duncan thinks of that last run. Oh, no, he's, uh, he's got something else to talk about. He says, we look different. Oh yeah, well, I would, you know, eight years away. <laughs> what, what the hell is option two? <laughs> I guess he was a chubby kid. Is that yeah, what that? Did, I guess Duncan had puppy now? fat. Yeah. Not the you I know. Oh, he wanted to be a rocker. Ah. Uh, also, he has perfect teeth. This must be the tusks. Also. Hmm. How am I doing? Hmm. I'm not sure, actually. I mean, Geomancy fun, getting uh, completely wrecked by a bunch of wizards and having to be kind of pumped full of trauma kits and healing spells to stay alive was kind of expected, since Danny is kind of our tank uh, in, the, in the group, but also not. I doubt he wanted that to happen. Yeah, we really need to figure out his damage issue and whether that's a build problem or if it was just that one off. He, he did a lot more damage to people who were not not themselves mages and were not having a minus three willpower debuff but yeah we've got to look at stuff um it could be we haven't put enough points in the right stats yet i don't really like any of these conversation options sadly oh uh, well i'm gonna pick i am one. i'm still i still am kind of pissed but only kind of like option two is is sort of there um mm. i don't think we i mean we are of course a, a player character which means we are a blank slate before Ish. we stepped off that um yeah it's the fact that, that we're characterizing point. someone that may gives me pause here it makes me not sure what to pick because none of these kind of really fit the mental image i've been developing uh, then again I don't, I don't really have a solid mental image for how danny flash would respond when asked how he's doing um well i know what he'd say as a defensive mechanism he'd say say it he'd say same as always Mm. Which, of course, is meaningless to Duncan, who hasn't seen him in eight years. Yeah. What I want to say is, is like, something cool and smarmy about how he's doing. Um, but... I could claim to, to be hell of enjoying the shadows. 
Yeah, why not? Yeah, let's let's go with this. Let's say, you know what, shadow running, it's cool actually. Now we get to say why. Mm -hmm. Not a cog in the machine, man. <laughs> oh yeah, who would want that? Working all day in an office job. Nothing to be said for it. Uh, absolutely no advantages. Hmm. Truth appeals to me. Shit's fucked up bad, comments Duncan, articulately. Why do you want to know He's, about it? That last paragraph is social media. <laughs> yeah, what does anyone get out of doom scrolling? At the end of the day, what are you? Sinless. Danny does not seem like a fight the power kind. Like, he does no. fight the power, but you don't he, say that. Yeah, and also, like, he has fought the power very unsuccessfully to date. Yeah. So he's not going to claim to be good at it. Um, we do get to dress well. You know, that that was true for that mage we just killed. Yes. With the sweet mask. That was very cool. The Dresswell thing could be a hint about wanting cybernetics. Huh? I guess this is something they talked about before. Wait, what is, so what is this saying about Danny? Because Danny's not getting thrown up. Danny's no, a physical he's, he's, He wants to preserve his essence. Uh, not in a Dr. Strangelove kind of way. I mean, you know, magical essence. I guess option two seems like the best where we're just trolling. Yeah, him. if this is trolling. Hmm. Oh, he's he's a wellness guy. Yeah, we, we can point out, of course, that in fact we will not get cyberware. I, I guess that stuff makes more sense in this world where essential oils probably do have actual magical powers. <laughs> yeah, well, essential oil would be a fantastic brand. Wizards would think it gave them magic, like Tass or something from World of Darkness. <laughs> Vandals for hire. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Duncan didn't really enjoy that mission. Uh, I mean, uh, the feng shui thing is interesting. Like, we met the uh, the owner of the bookshop, um, who had some some interesting stuff to say. I'd like to hear more about her mother at some point. Uh, I feel like there's a plot connection there. Officer Wu. It is business of mine, clearly. Like, I'm, I'm obviously going to be interfering in this guy's life and badgering him and so on. Yeah. That's just the relationship. <laughs> Let's talk later. Because this conversation has taken a while and I was thinking of spending some karma points. Nine of them. So, uh, what right. do you think controls the damage? Strength. Strength seems like the obvious one, but we, I mean, we've got a lot of it. Like, it's not like. Mm, could have more. Increases the oh, damage value two of attacks, yeah. But I thought. Oh, uh, damage value, yeah. Willpower used to kind of calculate the chance to hit with the key casting attacks, alright. But I think that maybe there's, like, the key casting attacks do, like, if, if, like, mana, mana whatever. Remember how the mana fist had a 50% two hit as mm -hmm. opposed to a. Higher percent to hit for unarmed attacks. I think that was what that was. Um, yeah. Key focus is that thing that incentivizes us to potentially want a sword because it does two target attacks to one. Uh, I think I will put a point in uh, close combat chance to hit with. You know, right, the things we're not using. I probably shouldn't have had so many points in that. Okay, I'll put a point in in strength here, and it's a. Uh, Certainly, what we can afford in strength right now. Maybe we will need to put points in melee and um, unarmed. I just hate doing that because it locks us into wanting one to prefer them, yeah. one or the other. Increases the chance oh, but that's of scoring just, no, a it's just crit. crit. Oh, fuck crit. It also unlocks special abilities, but they may not be impressive. Let's see what these ones are. Thrust. Well, we can't use this and use key attacks. Yeah, actually, this is not that big a deal. Just in chance of scoring a critical hit. We can live without that. Yeah. All 
Eh, I think all the things I want to get cost five karma at this point. So even a body point would. So I suppose we're not spending any more yet. Yep, the way the system works, that's going to happen a lot. Mm -hmm. There's other forms of advancement. We can buy stuff, we can advance our team members' stats and stuff. Uh, how are we doing on time, do you think? I think this is probably a good place to cut it since we're going to want to get into, like... Um, there's some... I mean, I doubt Spider Shen has updated their inventory all that much. No, there's going to be a lot of talk. To sell. There are vendors yeah. we haven't talked to. In particular, we want to talk to this Maximum Law guy who knows something about uh, the, the cult of cult of being involved in one of the jobs. So our missions here are the, uh, the archaeologist who has complaints that this guy he worked with has um, turned his archaeological finds, which seem to have been materialized magical archaeological uh, finds that appeared when magic did. Anyway, that guy's turned them into a, a junket thing. And then there's this serial killer to look for, and the Wampoa, I believe. Maximum Law is one of these people and knows about them. Yeah. And then there's a, that get some sleep option. We might also want to check in in Raptor and... Um... Yeah, talk to other people. Bunch of stuff to do. Yeah. Why would you get some rest? What? Why would you not get some rest? Well, it might progress our bad dreams. Okay. You know what? Let's do that. Let's do that and then uh, head on out of this episode. I always forget you can't save the game while walking. Right. That's got to be a weird infrastructure thing, right? Like I how think it, so. how the game. You wake with a start. Your limbs bound up in a sweaty tangle of linen bed sheets. Linen, nice. An incredible sorrow swells in your chest. Alright, let's try and remember this dream, even though it probably sucked ass. Another dream of the walled city. Refuse, debris, pimps, dumpster fires, broken, broken glass, dirty needles, rot, sewage, industrial waste. There's a lot of negative adjectives here, or negative nouns even. It, you do sort of get the idea that someone's um, building this place bad on purpose. Yeah. Now, this isn't us. Like, we are not, this is not a dream of something we experienced, is it? Because no. we're from Seattle. Danny may well have been a very hungry street kid, but not hungry in this place. Locals dropped their knees. It's a dream. It doesn't seem like a dream of a, a humanoid, even. Something in the distance, big and beautiful. This has got to be the the horned, robed woman from that first dream. You think that's another dragon? Hmm. Can they shapeshift? They can, can't they? I think I think dragons can shapeshift in the setting. Yeah. That's a maybe. I don't know. It doesn't feel enormously draconic to me. Okay. So you know, general sense that you know, there's this. A demonic but attractive powerful figure somewhere deep in the walled city probably associated with prosperity but everything around there is horrible okay. it might be in like a sin eater place where for hong kong to be successful this one place has to like min max it's all horrible dog shit all the time those who uh, erase the, the identity of omelas yeah okay well we'll uh, revisit that sometime soon see you at that time Later.